what's the difference between safe voltage and regular? Because I've read the NEC. I don't remember seeing safe voltage listed in there. You're right. And maybe I'm, I'm misusing the term. So when I say safe voltage, I mean it's still the, it's high voltage, but the layer of fault management on it, meaning that you have a transmitter receiver that are looking across the cable that's pushing that voltage and making sure that if you touch it, it shuts the circuit off. Or if there's a short circuit or an arc, it's going to turn off instantly. That's the layer of safety that I'm talking about. How, how quick is that? How, how many times, I don't know, a second does it pull that to make sure that it's safe? And if it determines something's not safe, how quick is the transmitter to shut down the voltage so that people or property don't get damaged? Yeah, so it depends on each vendor. Uh, I could tell you on the Panduit system, it takes us a maximum of two milliseconds to shut that circuit off. And um, it does reset itself. I want to add to that too, because a lot of people, this probably went over a lot of people's heads. Two milliseconds. Yeah. The brain doesn't even have time to, to mm. visually, from the visual cortex, to process information Not that ours. quick of a time. Now, something that I, I do want to mention is um, when you touch that voltage, depending on the person, you will feel something. It's not like, you know, you touch it and there's nothing there.